Well, I'm out here with my friend David. We're up here in uh, undisclosed location up in Arkansas. Came up here to try this lake out one time with him. He hits it all the time. He lives kind of in this area. But we've been out here and uh, haven't found anything really much more all morning. And just all of a sudden we hit two rings. And uh, the first ring he found, and uh, it's this little family silver ring. And so that's good to know that we got at least yeah, a ring, isn't we're it? We're getting on something. We're getting They're on here. something. They're here. It's been, uh, I've got, <laughs> if earrings were the, the thing today, we would have got lots of earrings. Yeah, I've got one earring and a bunch of change in a bottle cap. I have got a ton, a ton of earrings. And I dug something else too a while ago that was uh, kind of a, a weird find. Check this out. I don't know what that is. Looks like a tie clasp almost to me. Yeah. The thing that you wear out there on your tie. Because yeah. I wore many of them uh, being a preacher. Yeah. But anyway, I found that and that's about all. But I found a ring too. When he yelled a ring, I just got a ring coming over to meet him. And I got this little, it says kinder on it. It says Pierre. I think it's gold plated. I don't think it's going to be gold. It's ringing up. Like a uh, on an AT Pro, bring it up just like a uh, a zinc and uh, zinc penny would bring up real jumpy. Took me forever to scoop it up. Well, I'll take that though. Well, that's good, David. Maybe yeah. uh, maybe we're going to get us uh, we'll get something it. right here. Yeah, maybe we'll find something else out here. Yeah. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. Well, I decided to come out to the deeper water and it paid off. I just got this uh, 47 on my AT Pro and uh, thought it was going to be trash because I've been digging a lot of those like uh, foil lids that go on top of juice boxes, uh, juice bottles and stuff. And uh, but popped it up. Hey, I'll take that. And, you know, as far as these rings are far, a few and far between right now, I'll take this uh, stainless steel. It has the words "I love you" written on the inside. So I wonder, does she still love this man that lost this ring since he lost it? Anyway, I'm gonna keep working the deep end here and see if we can't find uh, anything else. David hasn't found anything yet. But uh, lots of earrings, lots of change, uh, lots of targets. Uh, no trash, hardly. You know, you'll just go through here and and swing and be quiet and all of a sudden boom you'll hit the signal and uh so that's kind of good he cleans this beach out really well so let's keep swinging let's keep seeing if we can work the deep end and if we can't find another ring or two maybe a big gold that's what i want big gold Well, I came back out here, took me a break, came back out here where I found that uh, stainless steel ring. And I'm just digging every single iffy signal there is out here. And this thing sounded just like an iron nail or like a big hoop earring. And lucky enough, it's uh, either a gold or silver chain. I can't see any markings right now. But uh, hopefully it's going to turn out to be gold or silver. I'll let you know right here on the video. But hey, that's another good find. So we just, not a lot of rings. So we just... It's a big area, it's like 500 feet long, and we can go out maybe about 50 feet, so there's a lot of area to cover, and there's a lot of area to miss. And all it takes is just that little bit to miss a target. And so now I'm slowing down really slow and just uh, digging everything. So hopefully we're gonna get on some more rings. So let's keep swinging, let's see what else we can get. Work in this mid torso depth now, and uh, got a good solid 45 and popped it up. It's going to be that stainless steel ring with a spinner chain on it. Uh, definitely getting stainless steel, but uh, let's get some silver and some gold. But that's another one for the day, so that's good. So, just man, just going real slow now, taking my time and just digging everything. So, it's paying off. Let's keep going, see what else we can get. Okay, 
getting a 43, 45. Sounds like a stainless steel ring again. And it's gonna be a real black one. Well, literally just about 15 feet from that other one walking in a straight line. And uh, I got another stainless steel ring. I was just motioned to my friend here, I got another one. And uh, it's paying off, just going slow. And, and when you're working an area, I'll show you. You can see how large this area is. It's really easy to miss targets. You really gotta go slow because all it takes is just two inches and you miss the target. So, I mean, from that corner around that beach over to that corner is over 500 feet. So there's a lot of lot of area to cover. And so just gotta take your time and see what we come up with. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we might can find. So right here, this line's being pretty good, about mid chest deep. Well, I got this little nickel size uh, medallion that says, the love between a mother and a daughter is forever. And I agree with that. That's a little fine. Got three other guys here working the beach and one in the shallow water that just showed up. So got some company. That's always good to see other people out here. A little late to the game, but uh, nonetheless, it's better late than never, right? All right, let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. Getting a real jumpy like an earring. I'm just digging everything right now. That's not a earring, but it is going to be. Well, just feet away from that uh, ring, I was getting a real jumpy signal. Thought it was an earring, trying to dig it up. It ended up being a, uh, a silver ankle bracelet. I'll take that. Maybe I'm in a little pocket here. Uh, so let's keep circling the wagons here. Let's see what we can find. Get another 48 here. Gonna be another. It is 10 o'clock. When I got in the water about 5:45, 6 o'clock, so about four hours now. So I'm averaging about one ring per hour, and a couple of things in between. So there's stuff out here. It's just a lot of ground to cover. I decided just to go very, very slow listen and dig every little thing it's very quiet not a lot of trash out here at all and all of a sudden you just go you know 20 minutes just nothing and boom you get a target and so i'll take another stainless steel ring i think it's stainless steel i'll swing it up like that it feels like a tungsten ring but it's but it's really stainless steel so let's keep swinging let's see if there's going to be a couple more out here for me well i dug that um it's, I think it's a, it's a healing crystal is what it is. I've dug several of these things. Well, that sun is very bright. Maybe I'll turn a little bit this way. But that's a healing crystal. So maybe I'll put it down there by my knees and get my knees feeling a little bit better. But anyway, there's not a whole lot out here. Uh, my friend last year came up here and he found 10 rings and a couple of other guys found four rings. And so this is one of those things that I changed up my routine and came up here and can't find any talking. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. Well, on my way home, I decided to stop at this one more park and hit it. Uh, chances are it's already been hit. I know one person they told me has already been here. And, uh, I don't know if the regular that comes here every year that I come here was here or not, but I've already found a handful of change and uh, uh, a guardian angel token that was really cool. I'll show that to you right here as I'm speaking. I like those guardian angels. I haven't got a cross, but I got my guardian angel token, but here I got another crystal. That's my second crystal. Uh, so, my, man, my knees are healed up now. I got two. Well, one of each one I can put on there now and walk around with good knees. 
hopefully my, my objective is to hit this pretty good and maybe there's just one ring out here that they missed and so I'm gonna search it and grid it off really well and just see you never know a place is never hunted out ain't that right let's see if it is well for someone who detected this earlier they said they must be an expert because they got every pit, bit, bit of jewelry, almost every bit of jewelry, but they left every pull tab and every coin that could possibly be lost uh, is still out here. I, I bet I've dug three or four dollars worth of quarters already, nickels, dimes, pennies, and uh, just now got this uh, signal. I thought it was a pull tab. It ended up being a uh, little ankle bracelet, silver, uh, silver uh, ankle bracelet. And so they didn't get everything. And so, but uh, definitely hasn't been any rings at all. And so I'm just about finished and doing the deep end and I've still got a three hour drive home and still got to shoot a wrap up. So uh, we're gonna make a few more sweeps out here. And if I don't get a ring, I don't get a ring. So, uh, but anyway, I don't know how a beach, a swim area can have no rings and no top of jewelry, but yet have four, five dollars worth of quarters, dimes, nickels, all scattered throughout, you know. Either they're good and they can pick it out, or there's just no rings out here. Well, that's going to do it for me, folks. I had a good time up here in Arkansas. It's always one of my last trips that I make at the end of the year. And uh, and so I had a pretty good day. I wouldn't say it was a great day, but uh, some of these places are getting hit way more often than they used to. And so that's it. Last hunt for 2024 water detecting season. So... I've got a three hour drive home and I'll probably shoot the wrap up sometime later on uh, tomorrow or next week. And so uh, I'm exhausted and a little sunburn. So I will see you guys at the wrap up. Well, it's four days later. I'm finally getting to my wrap up. I had a good time on Monday. I traveled up to uh, North Arkansas and, and, and Tuesday I detected my final lakes. But anyway, it was, I'm wrapping up my metal detecting 2024 water detecting season. The reason why, the lakes are still warm enough to get out there and, and hunt. And there's still some rings out there. But just not very many people are swimming anymore. Everybody's in school. School football's going on. Band. And just not a lot of people out there. And just spending a lot of time going to all these lakes just trying to get enough to make one video. And it's just not worth the time anymore. So I'm going to make this my last video get all my water gear clean it all out get ready for my england trip coming up here in less than a month about 20 something days away and get ready for fall so uh, i had a good time on this last trip didn't find as much as i thought i would but uh, i'm happy with what i got and uh, so i got it all laid out here on the tailgate for you let me spin you around let me show you what i got on this last video of water detecting for 2024. not a lot of trash i detected two lakes in this video and my friend that detects that first lake that we were in he just goes up there he lives nearby and he just cleans it out every year and this is the trash that uh, is just done through the summertime and just not a lot of trash at all it's very clean lake and so that's a good sign because when you finally got onto a target it was definitely a target i ended up getting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten dollars in quarters check that out ten dollars in quarters we got uh, 5, 10, 15, 22 dimes, 5, 10, 15 nickels, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 42, is that right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 37 pennies, 37 pennies. So a lot of change in this video, and check out these earrings. Look how big that earring is compared to my hand. It's huge, it's huge. A lot of these huge, uh, loop hoop earrings they call them and i got these earrings kind of a medium ones then a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller and we ended up with just one stud i got some type of i think it's a tie clasp or i really don't know what it is but anyway got one buckle and got a a, a butterfly necklace and then the love between the mother and daughter is forever apparently the necklace is not though uh, but uh, I found that little necklace and then a couple of healing crystals. I got a black, black one and a white one. And uh, so I'll put those with my oddity things on my, in my video later, I mean in my display later on. 
Ended up getting some bracelets, a WWJD bracelet, some other little type of bracelets. Here are my silver bracelets. I got a, a link chain one and a small chain bracelet. They should clean up very well. I got another necklace here. It looks gold, but it's not gold. It's just going to be, there's nothing there. It's just going to be a fake gold, gold plated, whatever. So that's my only necklace I got. And then for my rings in this video, I got this black stainless steel looking ring these are cheap chinese looking rings a little spinner ring another little just clear ring i thought this was stainless steel but it's going to end up being a, a tungsten ring nice tungsten and then i got a silver toe ring and then the best ring i found on this trip was this little tiara ring it says kinder or kinder on it and it's a 925 uh, little ring so I ended up with five rings on this video and uh, I think my friend found that one ring and later on he found another ring and so there's all the trash folks and here's all the treasure on my last video for 2024 for water detecting and like I say the greatest treasure isn't what you can go up to Arkansas and find and put on your tailgate and do a, a layout for everybody the greatest treasure my friend is always can be found up in heaven Keep searching and keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.